Hey guys and welcome back to another RuneScape 3 money making guide. Today we are going to be doing some Rizal the first necromancer. Um, this is not going to be a very in-depth guide by any means. Um, it's just a, a method that I've been using for money making for the last week or so. And I will just want to show you guys exactly how you guys could also be killing Rizal pretty easily, pretty AFK. Not very difficult. Like any other boss, once you get used to him, he's he's pretty simple. So, to begin with, I know this is very high gear for newer players, but if you're in the PVM space, uh, this is this is pretty standard for at least necromancy. Um, so, I have full robe, robes of the first necromancer, and I only have the upgraded tier 95 lantern for right now. Um, working on trying to get the death guard. Now, I have killed, I think, just over 100 and, 124 Rizal so far. Um, and I've gotten the row bottom and the gloves, or the hand wraps. Um, now, it took me 111 kills to get my first drop, and then four kills later, I got the row bottoms. So, all of the GP has really come in the last little bit here. Um, but I just want to show you guys the method that I use and just kind of give you a walkthrough kill on, on how it goes, at least for me. So Now, there are m many ways that you can upgrade the setup. Um, I will be using the Salve Amulet E for this, the Kalmore um, Kiln Cape. Again, there's upgrades for the rings, there's upgrades for this. Obviously, my weapon, my perks. So I'm not using the top tier gear, however... Uh, this works for me, so I just want to show you what a kill with this gear setup looks like and maybe you guys can take it and adjust it to your, what, you, what you have. Now I'm going to be using a Hellhound Familiar to help block damage. I'm also going to be using the Darkness Incantation, which will give me a 20% chance to dodge incoming attacks. And then I'm also going to activate the Aegis Aura for an extra 10% um, damage reduction. So. With this, the familiar takes, I believe, 20% of the damage I receive, um, and takes it against its own life points. You use the, the scrolls in order to heal it back up. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take my Elder Overload Potion, Super Prayer Renewal, um, one Super Restore Flask. When I started out killing Rizal for the first little while, I was using a ton of Ceradom and Bruise and Blue Blubber Jellyfish. Um, I'm at the point now where I'll only use probably eight of these and I don't even touch these so You kind of just get in you get used to it, and it makes it a heck of a lot easier So I'm using the death warden nexus to hold my runes and my ectoplasm uh, You can get the upgraded one if you kill uh, Vorkath, I think a hundred times, but this is the, uh, the the base one that you can get really easily so let me make sure I get my Enhanced Excalibur. And alright, let me show you guys what a kill looks like. Um, this is the ability bar that I use. Actually, I think... I keep playing around with what's actually the best for here, but um, this should work for what I'm just trying to show you guys. So, use your Darkness Incantation. I channel the Adrenaline. Now I have my portal set up right here. I summon my familiars, go through, you'll use the life transfer immediately to extend your ghosts, your followers. You'll use the potion, activate all your abilities, living death, and you'll just begin the fight. Um, it's pretty AFK up until phase 4, there's just a few things you need to watch out for, which I'll show you in this video. Uh, basically, just use all of your abilities that you're able to as you can. Um, he's going to shut off your prayer a lot during the fight, so be sure to watch your overhead. Make sure that that's on. You can soul split. Um, I guess I played a little bit safer. I like my extra defensive abilities. Um, at 700,000 health, he summons these obelisks. You don't really need to worry about them. Um, they're going to charge the bars over his head. Once he's full, he's going to basically shoot 
like volley of souls but at you so you want to be sure that you have that make sure that your prayers on um, use death skulls as often as you can to help kill the minions around you um, otherwise I like to use the spectral scythe to kill him so he's gonna say this is true power and that's when he hits you for uh, with five five volley of souls essentially so you need to make sure that you're praying for that but again so far this fight it's it's pretty AFK as long as you have the Hellhound Familiar, the Aegis Aura, he will jump to you. Just freedom away. Make sure you put your prayer back on. Um, your health gets kind of low, but you heal it back up through the DPS you deal. So probably use some food just to top up. Now. At 400,000 health, he does this join us with these ghosts. He'll say join us. All you have to do is walk backwards. Um, I know you can surge or dive or whatever to, to avoid them, but you can just simply walk backwards behind them before they spawn. So again, pretty AFK. Just making sure the prayer is on the whole time. That ability does hurt if he hits you with it, so you gotta be careful, watch your health points. Now again, just walk backwards, Rizal will come towards you. Now if you get too many minions here, you can just Spectral Scythe and AoE kill all of them. <laughs> Once he gets to 200,000 life points, he'll run back here, and this is phase 4, this is the one that's actually difficult. You need to pay a lot of attention. Um, he's going to constantly smash the ground with these lightning bolts. They'll deal up to 4,500 damage. They're easy to dodge, you just have to keep moving. They hit the same spot over and over again, so you need to run in circles around the arena here. I throw on Soul Split for this part of the kill. Just keep spamming your abilities. Now I'm not using death dealer armor here, and so I'm going to need to invoke death on him when he gets closer to 30,000 life points. If you're using the death dealer robes and you don't have the money for the tier 95s quite yet, then your yours will automatically proc this once he hits 30,000 life points. Just like that, bada bing bada boom. He has pretty consistent GP, um, unless you get really unlucky with seeds and such. But you'll just teleport right back to War's Retreat. Now, kills take me just under 4 minutes. Uh, my fastest kill was like 3 minutes and 15 seconds, so... Definitely have a lot of room for improvement. But even just from that kill, you know, almost 600k for... Not doing a whole lot. <clears throat> now I use blue blubberfish just so I don't drain my uh, adrenaline too bad these are 10k each so I mean that's 100k in food plus all the divine charges for my equipment so it does cost a lot um, using certain equipment here but again if you get the if you get the rare drops which are one in 600 and something uh, roughly one every 100 kills you should expect to get something so um, but these are worth these are worth a lot so Anyway, uh, I'll show you some. I'll show you some clips of the the two drops that I got, just so you guys can see. I think I only have video for the one. other um, familiars other than the hellhound 
I just personally like him. Um, you have the Blood Reaver that can use its own life points to heal yours, and you can set that to automatically siphon and heal you throughout the fight as well, if you uh, if you find that more helpful. But I figure if I'm not getting hit, then I don't need to heal. So I prefer this. Um, yeah, if this video helped you out, or if it inspires you to go for uh, some of these crazy drops, then consider giving a like or uh, subscribing down below for future money-making guides and RuneScape 3 content. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.